Okay, so normally I don't ever post videos or anything like that, but here lately God just kind of put some stuff on my heart that I think a lot of people may need to hear, that I personally needed to hear. And it's funny because before this video I was like totally freaking out because I'm like, it's a video, whatever. But anyways, God just put it on my heart because I've been talking to a lot of people and to myself about this, but it's just like, if there's something that you really want to do, just go ahead and do it. You know, I mean, that might sound cliche or anything, but there are things in this world that, you know, that's going to try to stop you and hinder you from doing something that's really been on your heart and that you're really passionate about that because it just life doesn't really want you to, to succeed. That's life. But the thing is, is that God does want you to succeed and he put those passions and plans in you for a reason. And. Tonight, before I made this video, he gave me Philippians 1 6, which says, Being confident in this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. And so, in that, there, it just means like God's got a plan for you. You know, whether you believe in God or not, he does have a plan for you. There is a God. You know, I'm not going to really argue with that. But, um, the thing is, it's just like, you know, you got plans and desires in you and just things that you really just want to let people know for a reason because God put them there. And the good thing about that scripture, it says, he who has begun a good work in you will complete it. So that means that God's going to meet you halfway. He's technically already there. He's just waiting on you to kind of step out. You know, for me, it was making videos and reaching out to people. But on my old laptop, I didn't really have a video thing where I could make videos. But well, lo and behold, I got blessed with a laptop that makes videos and now I'm making videos. And I was freaking out about it before. But, you know, God just kind of met me halfway. He's just like, you know, you wanted to make videos and I got you away. So do it. And I was like, OK, you're right. Then he gave me Philippians 4.13 where it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know, and it's just not all about you. Whenever you have those plans and desires, you know, it's going to take God or helping you because a lot of the times those things are completely out of your reach and out of any other person's reach like connections can only get you so far human connections but with God all things are possible and in Romans 8 37 it says we're more than conquerors so there you go Christians we can't fail you know whenever it's a plan designed and ordained by God you can't fail and if it looks like you're failing or that you're not going to come out on top. Just know that the struggle, struggle, the terrible thing is not over yet. And, you know, you can rejoice in that because it, you don't want a half-baked cake. You know, a lot of the times that nowadays we want something so fast and so quick that we don't want to wait for it. And if we were to get it, it would taste really bad because it's not cooked all the way through. Some people like their steaks rare where it's still mooing. That's gross. Whatever. God may get you a quick plan like that but for most of us it takes a well done plan really well done plan for us to reach it and to be able to eat so to speak that plan and so just know that if you have a plan or if there's anything that you really wanted to do it's just like Nike just do it you know don't let people or things of this world you know, don't let those stop you because the people that are going to talk down to you and the people that are going to tell you that you can't aren't going to be here in three years. And so three years from now, you don't want to live your life with a regret saying, dang, I really wish I could have done that because they're not even here anymore. You probably won't even remember their, their name, whoever came against you. So it's just like, don't let people stop you because people, there's like billions of people in this world. And if you really had to go by everyone's opinion, I would probably die because that's a lot like there's a one thing God gave me was just like a Sunday you know like the ice cream he's like describe your perfect Sunday and I was like well I don't really like Sundays because I don't really like all that stuff whatever but I kind of gave a description and then he's like okay now let's say a kid in Africa what is his favorite Sunday and I was like well he probably doesn't know what a Sunday is like he can barely rummage up some rice you know, which was kind of a bad analogy, but it's okay because it worked for me. But the thing is, is God is like, exactly. Perfection is a set of, is a state of mind. What you know as perfection, some other person may not even know about. So it's just like, if you're going to try to strive to say what everybody else something should be, you're going to have a pretty terrible Sunday because somebody may like pecans and you're allergic to them and then you're going to die. I mean, 
really, if you want to kind of get funny and serious about it at the same time, you know, striving to be somebody else's little doll is going to ruin your life. So the purpose of this video is just like if there's something that you've really just been wanting to do, then do it. You know, don't let people stop you. Don't let a boyfriend, don't let a best friend or whatever, don't let them stop you. Because the thing is, is if they really have your best interests, they're going to encourage you. And God set those people in your life. And if they fall away and if they walk away, then let them. Because that's just a lesson. You know, well, I just wanted them to be there. Well, you know, tough luck. They're not. You know, and be thankful. You'll be thankful for that. Because nobody wants to swim a race with boulders on their back. Because that would suck and you would drown. So... Stop trying to carry boulders while you're trying to swim. You know, Peter walked on water and he didn't have boulders and stuff. And they said, well, he fell in. Well, that's another story. But whatever, you know, I kind of get long-winded because I get nervous. So I'm going to end it now. But, yeah, if there's anything you want to do, just do it. You know, God gave you desires and he gave you purpose and he gave you plans for a reason. Whether you believe that or not, there is a God that wants you to succeed just as much as you want to succeed you know you don't have to believe in God to want success but there is a God who wants you to succeed so if you don't know him I encourage you to kind of check him out you know just give it a shot you won't regret it but yeah just know God loves you he has a plan for you and he wants you to succeed so do it